From Crunch Econometrics, I will show you how to perform the Hosman test in Stata. If you have the panel data, there is often the challenge of choosing which estimator to apply. Is it the fixed effects estimator or the random effects estimator? The generalized model of a panel data analysis is as shown on the screen. And we are testing whether AI, that is the individual effects in the model, correlates with the x variables or are independent of the explanatory variables. The null hypothesis of the Hosman test says that the random effects are independent of the explanatory variables, while the alternative simply says the null is not true. So if AI correlates with the x variables, that is the explanatory variables, you cannot use the random effects estimator. You have to use the fixed effects estimator. So the outcome of your Hausman test will give you a clue as to which estimator best applies to your model. So let's get started. Stata is already launched, so the first thing to do is to have your log file opened. Go to File, click on Log, Begin. The log file keeps a track of everything that you are going to do. You can easily go back and repeat your analysis on a different project. So it's always good to save it again. I'll save it as CE MSC data, the same name with my data file. So I click save. Afterwards, I pull up my data, double click on it, and then my data is already stored in my Stata domain. The next thing to do is to open a do file. I have a video on how you can create both a do file and a log file. Make sure you open that up. So the do file is open. I need to pull it up because I have it already. I double click on that. The do file is open. The next thing for me to do is to command Stata to prepare to run panel data analysis. The command is written already. You can see it here, XTCID here. I click this small button, selection do, and the program runs and tells me I have a panel variable CID, I have a time variable here, so I have a strongly pan balanced panel. Having done that, the next thing for me to do is to create year dummies. Remember, I'm working with 141 countries. My panel data has 141 countries from Albania to Zambia. Zambia is the 141st country in the data from 2000 to 2012. So I have 13 years for each of the countries. And I'm working with six variables all in here. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I also created regional dummies for each of the countries because they spread across seven regions of the world. Like I said earlier, because I'm using a panel data, there is need for me to create time dummies for each of this year to capture time variation in the data. So I go back to the do file and I have the code already written here. Tab year, generate year. I click on it. Let's see what we have. So I have the command duly executed. If I go to my data editor, you will see that I have year dummies now, 13 year dummies from year one to year 13 for each of the year in the sample. So after that, the next thing to do is to run the fixed effects model and store the results with this command, estimate store. You can see the command on the screen. If you don't put estimate store, Stata will not store your results. And if your results are not stored, you cannot run the Hausman test. So I click on that and Stata executes. So this is the fixed effects analysis and the results is stored. Let's go to data editor to check that the result is actually stored. You can see estimate fixed. So the result is stored from the fixed effects estimator. Again, I run the same thing for the random effects model. This time I put SMA store random. I click on that. And the random effects model is also estimated. And if you check your data editor, you'll see that the estimate for the random effects model is also there. So next is the Hosman test. This is the command. It is the outcome of the Hosman test that tells you which estimator best applies to your model. If the p-value from the Hosman test is below or equals to 5%, you have to reject the null hypothesis. That is, you have to reject the 
random effects model and use the fixed effect. So let's just run this and let's see what our results will be. So this is the results from the Hussman test. This is the outcome. We are mostly interested in this p-value. We can see it's highly statistically significant and is below 5%. It's actually below 1%. So from this result, we are rejecting the null hypothesis. We are rejecting the null that says that the random effects are independent. So this tells us that these effects are not independent, but they are indeed correlated with the exploratory variable. So this tells us that the fixed effects model is what we have to use to analyze this data. So here I have it here. Reject the null hypothesis if the probability value is statistically significant at 5% level. Therefore, use the fixed effects estimator to run the analysis. Otherwise, use random effects. So in our final analysis, we are using the fixed effects estimator. This is our final decision. The p-value is very low. It's 0 0.0026. The p-value is 0 0.0026. Hence, the null hypothesis is rejected and the fixed effects estimator is used to analyze the model. So this is a very brief tutorial on how you can run the Hussman test in Stata. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Visit our website and our blog.